Narendra Modi, Mongol Orn Ding Hu Alts Sorat, Bit Ning Baister Na. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome His Excellency Mr. Narendra Modi, Prime Minister of the Republic of India, a country which we fondly regard as our third neighbor, but also spiritual neighbor to our people on his state visit to Mongolia. This year marks the 60th anniversary of diplomatic relations between Mongolia and India. I wish to note that His Excellency Prime Minister Modi's esteemed visit is taking place in the backdrop of this commemorative year. It is the first ever visit by a Prime Minister of India in the history of our bilateral relations. Today, Prime Minister Modi and I had extensive talks covering a wide range of bilateral as well as regional and international issues of mutual interest. I am pleased to note the successful outcome of our discussions. During the uh, talks, we uh, agreed that the uh, bilateral relations level is elevated to strategic partnership level. We have also agreed to establish a joint investment fund. We have also agreed that um, Indian companies uh, and Mongolian companies cooperate on uh, private-public partnership base and invest, make investments into Mongolian uh, industrial sectors. We have also agreed to cooperate in agricultural sector, in dairy pro on products processing, in uh, new technologies and uh, other sectors such as uh, uh, agriculture and uh, medicine, health. We have also agreed uh, to train and outsourcing the uh, health uh, sector professionals and uh, IT, techno uh, uh, te uh, IT professionals. India's side uh, uh, has uh, promised to open a credit line uh, worth a total of 1 billion US dollars for investment into infrastructure and uh, construction of railroads of our country. Bilateral documents concluded between the two countries here today will certainly become a significant impetus to the further strengthening and broadening our cooperation in these areas, reinforcing the legal basis and presenting with new opportunities uh, for future collaboration. I wish to that uh, two of our countries uh, further develop uh, our spiritual and uh, bilateral relations in the future.